Hello, I'm Dale Leftwich with Real Agriculture. Today I'm with Paul Card. We're at the Agri-Trade Show in Red Deer, Alberta. Uh, how are you doing today, Paul? Great. It's uh, been a good show so far. That's good. Uh, a great show I'm in, indeed. You actually won an award here. We did. We won an uh, innovation award for our new product that we're bringing to the market this year. And so your new product has to do with uh, grain bin storage, right? That's right. Uh, what we do is we have the most advanced technique for looking at your, your stored grain. Unlike traditional techniques that are really looking at point places, we can build a full three-dimensional image of the moisture content down to every bushel within a bin. So you actually have a, a, a sensors uh, that will work in a fairly large bin, I would guess, right? That's right. The bin size doesn't matter. The technique is very much like an MRI or a CT scan. We shoot uh, energy through the bin and that allows us to evaluate the moisture content at every individual bushel. So you say every individual bushel, you actually get a complete image of what's inside that bin, right? That's right, yeah. So that complete image is not just a set of collected data points, that you actually have a sensor, like you actually have pulses that go from one sensor to another. That's right, the system has 24 sensors on the inside of the bin and we transmit from one sensor to the other, so we end up with 24 times 23 readings. And from that, we can build a full three-dimensional image of the contents in a bin. And so in terms of the, do you have one sensor that sends an impulse, or do, how does that work? Uh, the sensors are unidirectional, so we broadcast on one receive, and then they switch roles in between. So actually then, uh, at any given moment, any one of these sensors can be sending a signal and receiving it. That would increase the accuracy of the image, I would guess. Yeah, that's, a, that's exactly how it works. Yeah. So then, uh, when you're doing that, uh, how much data can you actually get? Can you actually get moisture levels, or are you just looking at, at hot and cold spots? Or well, like, what is it you're actually looking for? Yeah, we actually get the moisture content at every individual bushel, which has a lot of ramifications. It means you can store at a much higher moisture content, you w which you could previously. So that allows you to have better quality, and you also get more weight at the end of the year when you go to the elevator. So when you say every individual bushel, are you talking about like a 10,000 bushel bin, a 20,000 bushel bin? Like how big can this go? As big as a bin as you can build. So we, we have installs into half million and million bushel bins. Um, half million, half million, I just want to repeat that. Yeah. Half million and mil million bushel bins, and you have them actually installed in those bins already? That's right. Yeah. And so what kind of data are you getting off those bins? Well, we get a full 3D image of what's happening in that bin, and it allows people to buy larger bins because you're not trying to mitigate your risk by using multiple small bins. So your storage cost drops, and you get the return of saved energy because we can re remotely control your fans, which allows you to reduce your electrical and your gas costs, and you get a better return because you have more weight at the end when you go to the elevator. And so, uh, the, uh, like all of these uh, different um, images and stuff that you're getting, uh, you actually have a predictive ability, is that right, in terms of problems? Yeah, predictive, but even real time. So unlike a lot of systems where you're taking point readings and trying to make a prediction of how the grain's gonna react if you bring fans on underneath to aerate, uh, we can see in real time what's happening. So if it's pouring rain outside and you bring your fans on, we can see that bottom layer, layer starting to rehydrate, which eventually you're gonna have to take that moisture out again. So uh, I think it's really interesting, this, this technology didn't start in the agriculture industry. You want to talk a little bit about where it started? Sure, it's actually, I mean, I call it MRI or CT because that's yeah. exactly where it came from. This is a technique developed at the University of Manitoba uh, for doing a reduced cost, lower frequency uh, technique, very much like an MRI CT scan. The, the guys there continue to work on breast cancer imaging. Uh, specifically, it's Professor Joe Levetri there who works on that and uh, continues to work on that. We took the technology that he's developed over the last several decades and we've scaled it to put it inside of a grain bin. So this technology is actually cutting edge technology in breast cancer research. It's cutting edge technology no matter what you're imaging. Yeah. Right, but that, that's the thing. It's not something that was developed 50 years ago and has now worked its way into the ag industry. They're actually developing this to be predictive in terms of, of uh, uh, tumors and that kind of stuff in right. human beings. Yeah, that's exactly right. So that must be really interesting to be in, in this uh, business now, and uh, and you're an award winner. Absolutely, yeah. It's uh, It's been you know decades of work developing the core technology, and the last 24, 36 months really scaling it for medical imaging and bringing it to the ag world. Okay, I just want to thank Paul Card. Paul Card is the president of GrainViz, and he's here with us at the, uh, at the Agri-Trade Show in Red Deer, Alberta, and he is an award winner. Thanks very much, Paul. Thank you.